so I've just coated the uh, the plywood with uh, some of the mix um, all around the outside and in the inside as best I can. Got some of this uh, this plastic. It's just a bin liner cut in half just to protect it, stop it from dripping everywhere. Um, which I'm getting a bit close to doing here, just along this edge. But what I'll do now is um, lay up this uh, this mat on top and uh, and then start bedding it down with. Uh, with the resin. So, uh, what are we on the 6th of February, um, and work's been sort of progressing quite well with this um, hatch, um, sort, of, uh, sort of plate if you like, for the, for the new um, Houdini hatch. Um, I've flow coated this um, a couple of times, the, the bottom is, um, has been... Uh, yeah, kind of. It's just I've just coated it with resin. Okay, so start off 12 mil ply, and then it's got a coat of resin underneath, and then uh, some woven cloth on the top, resined on. So the strength is on the top with the woven cloth, and then the underside is more for for preparation for the flow coat. I just put some resin, polyester resin on. So uh, the flow coat. There's two coats of flow coat on top. Um, it's the first time I've used this, so my, my finish isn't as good as I, I think maybe it could be. Maybe uh, in you know sort of warmer temperatures where I'm not, um, I, I, I am sort of adding maybe a bit more catalyst to the mix than I than I normally would um, if I was working in sort of like the kind of um, you know better temperature zone. So I haven't got much in the way of working time I've probably got like 10 minutes or something but it's my first time using it and I think the trick with this and I haven't had too many goes to be honest the trick with this seems to be you, you you sort of pour it sort of on equal amounts round your sort of area and then you just lay it out it's not really a kind of painting exercise it's kind of just you kind of just get it around the you know covered the area that you're after and then just leave it because what tends to happen very quickly is that it'll start to go and um, the more you brush it the more um, you, you know the, the paint lines are going to are going to hold there so literally these paint lines here very slight paint lines uh, paintbrush lines um, are literally about five minutes after not even that maybe three or four minutes after I'd, I'd poured it over and and that was that was looking at sort of like you know um, 10 degrees something like that uh, outside so the trick is to pour it on roll it on whatever and then just leave it um, and it'll go uh, quite quickly um, so not too bad a finish I'm not going to go mad on this because the main thing is is the strength um, I wasn't actually going to do the flow coating I was just going to leave it sort of with that kind of plywood look which I kind of liked um, but I wanted um, as flat and straight a, a surface as possible um, for the hatch really to create the seal. So um, quite impressed with this so far. There is a little bit of play 
with the the hatch entrance, but that'll I'll have to just sick a flex that in and um well it's not sick flex actually it's non setting butyl sealing compound that they've supplied me with. So uh that'll be my sealing compound um and uh that'll hopefully fill out all the all the gaps and any uh any spaces so um you're gonna use some little um stainless screws in here um and yeah make a fit first and I'll actually um fit the hatch here now um and then just take the whole unit with me um and um yeah basically sick of flex it onto the existing hatch uh in replacement of the uh the current sort of uh, well factory made hatch really um I don't want to uh, throw the original hatch away I'm going to I'm going to bring it back and and sort of do a bit of work to it so it's available um if I ever wanted to put it back on again for whatever reason um yeah we'll see how it goes just about to bed this hatch down I want to be kind of quick about it it's not bloody horrible out here um, and there's some rain splats now and then that's uh, not a bad fit around there I try and keep the um, the edges at the front as flush as possible because I don't want any um, what I had been getting is the jib sheet caught around that old one and I want to try and stop that from being exposed if it's at all possible. Right, I think we're in a good place. Let's get on with it. Right, that is done now. Uh, I've just flexed that down. Um, it's gnarly as anything. It's just wind has picked up big time. Um, I'll, I won't tidy the sicker flex up. I'll just basically let it settle and then I'll start doing something with it. I'll start tidying it up then. But yeah, uh, just a little bit of tidying up to do. This uh, screw did kind of make a mess of the, of the um, resin and the top and the flow coat. So I'm just going to have to put a little bit of little bit of filler repair on top of that just to uh, make it look a bit better. But yeah, generally quite happy with this. Um, hopefully keep the water out now. 